Introducing PhotoBrush Pro for the iPhone, iPod Touch, and now iPad. Let your photos be the canvas and your finger the brush as you easily create professional quality works of art you'll love to share. When we first launched PhotoBrush Pro, we're greeted with the default canvas. To begin a new project, we can select a canvas. Canvas is available in portrait or landscape. Or we can select a saved image already on the device. The Our App section is a long list of all our available apps in Apple's App Store. We also have brushes and text undo and redo, settings, where I can select the export resolution of our project, also turn photo brush sounds on or off, I can also save my image directly to the device, email a friend, or upload to Twitter or Facebook directly from PhotoBrush Pro. To select a brush, tap here. On the left side are all the available brushes available in PhotoBrush Pro. To quickly navigate through sections, you can use the index bar located here. In this case, I'm going to choose a circle under Geometry. To select any colors, simply tap on the color. To deselect the colors, tap again. In this case, I'm going to leave brown. Jump over to settings. Each brush has four parameters. Size, transparency or opacity, rotation, and color tint. Let's choose size. We can adjust the size by grabbing these two handles. We call this the range slider. In this case, I want a fairly small circle. So I'll squeeze it down to about there. Transparency, I'll increase to maximum or fully opaque. I'll leave rotation and I'll leave color tint off. To draw branches, simply swipe. Let's reduce the size a little bit more so we can get smaller branches. and even smaller branches for twigs. All right, that's looking pretty good. Now let's add some blossoms to this tree to brighten it up. Jump back up to brushes. In this case, I'm gonna choose this maple leaf here for nature, and there's our blossom. I already have this pink selected, so I'll go ahead and keep that, jump over to settings, increase the size so we can see it. In this case, I want to randomize the size of my blossoms from small spudlings all the way up to full blossoms. That's about right. Now we can choose the transparency of these blossoms. I do want them to be pretty bright, so I won't lower the values too much. I also want to add random rotation to allow for more detailed, more complexity in this tutorial. And again, I'll leave color tint off. So I'm just going to tap around the image. Different size blossoms appear.
There, that's looking really good. Oops, I seem to have made a swipe gesture. To undo a swipe or a tap, click here to undo. Great, that's looking really good. And it's so easy. To add text, such as letters or words, click here. Up top is a preview of all the characters waiting to be applied to the canvas. On the left is spacebar, character offset, and backspace. Just like the brushes window, all available characters are listed on the left. Fonts can be easily navigated to using the index bar and all available colors on the right. For this project, I like to add the word geisha across the bottom. So let's go ahead and type this in really quickly. Great, that looks good. Now let's jump over to settings. Just like brushes also, text, letters, or words are affected by size, transparency, rotation, and color tint. In this case, all the way large will be a bit too large for this project. I'm gonna shrink this down to about 60% and constant meaning each letter in the word will be the same size. I'll leave my transparency to fully opaque rotation to be horizontal, and I'll leave color tint off. I also want to compact the letters to give a little more impact and boldness to the word. And lastly, I'll select words here, which aligns all of my letters in a straight line. Let's see how this looks. Tap to apply. That looks pretty good. In this case, I'd like to undo make it just a smidge smaller. That looks pretty good. I want to do one more time to reposition. Great. Lastly, I'd like to export my completed project with blossoms, blossom tree, and the geisha text. Go up to settings. In this case, I would like my full resolution. Click Save. We can navigate to my photos library, and there it is. Excellent. For more information on PhotoBrush Pro, including full-length tutorials, please visit bobbysoftware.com.